Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and Tui's from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and another episode of DNA Saturday, which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in DNA bombs. That was the Ecrae class we're going to be using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. If you guys would like, of course, you can go back and pause the video, that way you can get a good look at the class. But keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I will be talking about the class setup throughout this video. So who sent in this gameplay? None other than iPro Zombies, who's actually featured for the first time. Last week, so that's two weeks in a row he's actually been featured, which is pretty nice. What's actually going on here is a game of domination here on the map. Terrace running around with the SN6 money, one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's actually the weapon I got the majority of my SN6 kills with, as well as the weapon that I did a weapon guide on. I talked about the SN6 and how it could potentially be okay as a weapon, and one of the best variants, of course, for it would be the SN6 money. The thing about the SN6, I talked about it in my review of the weapon and my, and my guide of the weapon, is that it's a cool gun. I love the way it looks, I love the way it sounds. I love the feeling when you use it, right? I, I get a good feel with it. It's got some real kick to it, especially if you have, like, vibration on your controller. It's a, an enjoyable gun to use, but in terms of stats, in terms of power and everything else, it is a completely mediocre weapon in every sense of the word, right? It's not, it doesn't excel very well in damage. It's not very high damage, but it's not low damage. You know, it doesn't have a crazy high fire rate, but it doesn't have a super low fire rate either. It's just very average in every respect, which is kind of tough because there's other guns that really excel in other respects. Like, there's some guns that really excel and that they have a really high fire rate. You know, they have a really uh, high damage output. They have really high range. Like, they can take people out really well at ranges. The SN6 doesn't do any of that exceptionally well. It just does all of them okay. <laughs> so it's like, it's a decent gun. It's a decent choice. But against the other guns in this game, of course, you guys are the ones we've talked about, uh, you're not usually going to do too well. But at the same time, it's still a very fun gun to use. And the class up he's actually using, I think we'll hop right into the class up here for this video because it's a pretty quick overall DNA bomb. He's using a tried and true, shall we call it a pub stomping style of class setup, right? So in terms of kill streaks, we don't even usually discuss kill streaks in here, but these are very beneficial ones if you want to really take a high risk, high reward setup to try and get a lot of kills here in Advanced Warfare. He's using a UAV. He's all buffed up. He's got all kinds of things added on to that, as well as the Aerial Assault Drone. He has rockets and AI thrown on here, right? He has rockets and AI thrown on the Assault Drone, as well as the Warbird with AI. Tried and true, man. You put those things up there. They're being controlled by the AI. You're taking a complete gamble as to whether or not they're going to do good. If the opposing team's using Blind Eye, they're not really going to do anything for it. If they're not using Blind Eye, those kill streaks will dominate the opposing team. I actually have an 80 kill gameplay on my YouTube channel. It's actually from me. From me. And I am just mediocre at Advanced Warfare in every sense of the word. I'm like the SN6 of commentators, right, when it comes to Advanced Warfare. I'm just pretty average at best at the game itself. Even I got an 80 kill match while using the SN6 money and a similar uh, kill streak to load out. It just, it could be very powerful depending on whether or not the opposing team is going to be using Blind Eye and whether or not they'll be shooting down your air support. But in terms of attachments and in terms of perks, he's using the SN6 money, again, which is a very good variant. It gives you plus one to your accuracy, plus one to your range, as well as a bit of reserve ammo, and all you really give up is one handling and two of your mobility, which isn't really that uh, big of a loss. But in terms of attachments, we have foregrip. Amazing, amazing indeed foregrip on this thing, I'm telling you, because he's also using rapid fire, which you kind of really need on the SN6. It, you need rapid fire in this weapon to kind of make it in line with some of the other weapons, at least in terms of fire rate. So you definitely want to have the grip to kind of compensate the recoil, as well as you want to have uh, the rapid fire on there so you shoot a little bit faster. And kind of a kind of an optional one that he went with, but I wouldn't personally go with, he's using adjustable stock on a submachine gun, which for me is just something I wouldn't really use too much. I would definitely opt out for extended mags on this class, but to each his own when it comes to that. In terms of perks, as you guys saw right there, He's actually using Scavenger to pick up more ammo. Blast Suppressor, because it's the best freaking perk in the game. He has Lightweight as well as Blind Eye. No low profile on this. He's going loud, man. He's got no silencer on here. He's got no low profile on here. He doesn't care. He's just going to run around. He's going to be loud and throw up some kill streaks and stuff. And that's what he does throughout the gameplay. He does pretty well at it. So it's a bit different than the class I would recommend for me personally. I usually have low profile on everything. As much as some people don't like the idea of having that perk on, I use it really in all my classes. I don't really use Scavenger too much, but I can definitely say that Scavenger on this gun's pretty nice but you do have a good amount of reserve ammo by default because you're using the SN6 money. But perhaps if you were using a regular variant of the SN6, you may want to use Scavenger on here because, of course, with Rapid Fire, look at the lag right here. With Rapid Fire, it's going to be... It's a bullet hose, man. That's what the SN6 is with Rapid Fire, as is any weapon with Rapid Fire, right? You'll definitely see that. You'll definitely notice that a lot. But still, it's a pretty good overall great class for a very average and mediocre gun that can still be very fun and very rewarding if and when you can do well with it. But actually, check this out. He's kind of being swarmed by the opposing team right here, which 
which is kind of crazy, ends up coming out on top. And you'll be noticing that there's a lot of like lag issues actually happening here towards the end of the video, towards the end of the gameplay. You'll notice there's a lot of skipping and rubber banding, I think would be the term that people call it, where you're at one point and then they kind of throw you back to another spot. But right here, yes, right there is where I actually end up picking up a DNA bomb. And yeah, that is the end of this really, really nice DNA bomb streak. I thought that was pretty cool overall. And I definitely think it's pretty nice when you can see somebody using a pretty mediocre gun and doing that well with it. You know, you got people running around with the Vault 27s and the ASM1s of the world, and even some of the other ones. You look at the IMRs, you look at the ARXs. Like, there's so many guns in this game that, in my opinion, of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, there's a lot of guns in this game that, in my opinion, outclass the SN6. So it's pretty nice to see people running around with the SN6 and doing pretty well with it. I used to use it so much a couple of prestiges ago that I've kind of been burnt out on the weapon. Like, I haven't even really picked it up or even made a class with it over the past couple of prestiges. Kind of like six or 700 kills with it in one prestige. I kind of went wild with it. But still, it's a pretty fun gun overall. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out if you guys haven't already. It could potentially be a very fun gun. It's actually very rewarding when you start doing well with it. But a final score there of 64 kills, 3 deaths, 2 captures, and 10 defense playing that objective. I like to see it. He wasn't capturing a bunch of objectives, be a guy with 9 captures, another guy with 10 captures. So those guys were capping it while he was defending it and playing up a bunch of kill streaks and picking up a DNA bomb. That was a pretty nice overall gameplay. Thank you to Mr. Ad Pro Zombies for submitting this gameplay because I definitely enjoyed watching it. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of DNA Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel via Zerbs. If you guys would like to submit your DNA bombs for next week's episode of DNA Saturday, simply watch the video. It's on your screen right now. You can click the annotation on the screen or click the link to it down in the video description. Either way you choose, it will take you over to that video and over there it will answer all of your questions as to what you need to do to submit yourself for DNA Saturday. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out Mr. I Pro Zombies, you can do so by clicking the annotation on your screen or by clicking the link to his channel down in the video description. It's the very first link that you'll find down there in the video description. Over on his YouTube channel, you may guess, he posts up some zombie content. He's actually a really good zombies player. He gets the super high rounds on exo zombie maps the day they come out as well as he plays some of the older zombie maps as well but he's also a fan of the multiplayer you know some channels they kind of say like oh we're all about the multiplayer over here we're all about zombies over here we're all about like other games over here what have you right he kind of does everything he does zombies but as well as he likes to do dna bombs like we saw here in his video as well as he likes to do ranked play as well as he likes to just do commentary discussing black ops 3 and things of that nature so give him a look you never know until you try when it comes to youtube channels man you guys might want to check out his youtube channel because he may have a channel that you would really enjoy. You'll never know until you try. Go ahead and give him a look because he's a very good player who puts up some very good videos and it's definitely worth your time to at least give him a look and see if his channel is right for you. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of DNA Saturday. Happy 4th of July to all of you guys out there. Be safe tonight. Everybody be safe. Don't let anybody uh, drink and drive and don't get in a vehicle with somebody if they've been drinking. Be safe. Have some fun. Happy birthday, America! And hopefully you guys all enjoy your weekend. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Remember the rating. Hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day. Thank you.